final last year. That place was as loud as I've ever heard it. And that's it. That makes me want to see playoff games here again. That makes me want conference finals and MLS Cups here again. And that's the great thing about this club. Four trophies in six years, and they want more. And the fans want more. The way they show up for this team, they love this city. Look, the atmosphere is the fans. They bring the rowdy. They are the blue hell. They don't want glory days. They want glory now. Welcome to another episode here on ESGN Net as we're back here for FIFA 19 and this is the Sporting Kansas City Career Manager Career Mode Episode 20. This is the biggest game of our careers as we're getting ready for the MLS Cup. Now the last time Kansas City won the MLS Cup, uh, actually the last two times, was back in 2000 and 2013 more recently. They won the Supporters Show back in 2000 and now we just won the this season and then of course the US Cup we last time we won it was back in 2017 and previous than that it was 2015 2012 and 2004 so now we've won it now here in this season in the 2018 2019 season and now we're trying to see if we can bring home another MLS Cup it'll be our fourth if we win it today so we're taking on Philadelphia we faced Philadelphia before here um, or actually the last time we played Philadelphia was in Philadelphia and these two men here have been going back and forth for the golden boot here and today we'll make the decision here who will win the golden boot is it gonna be Gorso or Sp Sponshack I think that's how you say it might have butchered it but you guys know what I mean regardless one of these two guys is gonna be taking home the golden boot and one of these two guys is gonna be taking home that trophy right there and we're about to find out who that is going to be here. So it's going to be a big game here at home of all things. Should be nice. The fans are ready to go here in Kansas City. The supporting crowd, the Cauldron, are ready to go. And we'll see how things come up in the, this episode here. If we can bring home or keep this uh, trophy here at home in today's big game. So there you see the crowd getting warmed up here, ready to go here. We got a lot of uh, drunkenness and a lot of drunken yelling here on the crowd, on the field, or on the stands there for these guys here at Sporting Kansas City. Of course, have a great, uh, and I, I have to be biased, they, are, they do have a great uh, home uh, crowd there, and they really support their uh, football team here. So, actually, this is the only professional sports team we have in the state of Kansas, so uh, go figure there. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm being biased. You know, I, that's the reason why I did this series. I'm, you know, I, I, this is my team. So we'll see what uh, Nemo can do here in this one as he tries to drill this one in there. And no, that is not going to help out. Going to the 14th minute. And we'll see, uh, it looks like Philadelphia trying to make an attack here. Trying to go there. And oh, that one, no, that is not going to go anywhere as Philly can't make a play. Take a look here. Just misses that one just by a hair cannot get that one even if it did hit the pole we'll see now sporting kansas here trying to make an attack here nemo trying to make a play but he cannot keep that one in line there and that is going to hurt us there so still no score here just yet philadelphia trying to get this one off their side of the field here or off the uh, this side yeah off this side of the field as they're trying to trying to get Sporting Kansas City to mess up here. Gorso gets this one in there. Just chip shots that one in there. No problem. And it's going to make it a 1-0 game here. And just almost a half hour into this game here. Sporting Kansas City makes a nice uh, goal. It's Gorso. I believe this will be his 20th of the season. Take a look at the replay there. 
bouncing off of guys there and near and Gorsel's like, yep, I got this one. No one's paying attention to what, I, what I'm doing right here, right in front of the goalie. And it makes a nice goal. And they get the one goal lead. There you see uh, Coach Vim, uh, Vimmers very happy about what his team has done here so far this season. Like I said, Gorsel's 20th of the season. We'll see if he can keep that up here coming up later on in this game. So we'll see Sporting Kansas City here trying to or really doing a great job here. Being aggressive here. Going after the football here. Gorso gets it in there again. Nobody's watching this kid. And he is now getting his 21st goal of the season. He is one away tying with a fellow player out here. The, one, the Philadelphia guy here. Uh, Sporno. As we'll see here. Great job from Kansas City. This was I was this is what I was loving about in this part of the game. Kansas City would just keep attacking. They were just not getting any of these guys in field the you know throw especially in the throw ins. Being very aggressive and just uh, keeping that ball on that side of the pitch there. And on that uh, the attacking side of the pitch and just did a great job. And there you see that worked uh, worked out for them as they take the first half here. Two goal lead. And Sporting Kansas City is just now 45 minutes away from winning this ball game here. Could this be a shutout in Kansas City? We're about to find out to see the second half. Let's take a look at the first half stats there. Not too bad. So now we go all the way now to just near the end of the game here. 2-0 here. Sporting Kansas City here trying to go for another goal. And they do a good job here setting this up here. Gorso here. Keeping his ball, keeping the ball and passing around here, letting every guy get a touch. But that one gets away as uh, it looks like Espinoza just, just launched that one over the goal. And Sporting Kansas City is your new MLS champions here. They're bringing home a trophy hardware like they've been all season long. Only trophy that he did not get this season was the preseason tournament trophy there. But there you see Sporting Kansas City in front of their home crowd. They're going to win this one here 2-0. And another championship is coming to Kansas City. Kansas City now wins their fourth MLS championship. And we'll see these guys celebrate here in just a few moments. They're going to hoist that trophy up and take this one here. And, of course, parade this one around the Kansas City area for all fans of Sporting Kansas City to see here. And uh, just kind of get out of character here. I know if I was at this game, actually, I shouldn't. I should say my buddy Joe, he would be definitely at this game. He would definitely be there rocking his uh, Sporting Kansas City gear on and celebrating uh, like there's no tomorrow. Sporting Kansas City, your new MLS champions. And they are once again on top of the MLS world. Congratulations there to those fellas there. And of course, there's going to be a lot of questions. Who's going to be able to stay on the on the team? Who's going to be making a move here? Got a, quite a few guys that remain right there. Beller, he's a four, he's a Sporting Kansas City guy there. He's actually a you know a guy right there that uh, grew up in the Kansas City area there. Can we keep him around for next season? He's one of our defensive guys there, our center back. Can we keep him there as a face of our defense? Or will we have to go out and find somebody else to take over that position there? As we do have quite a few guys here that are getting up there in age there. we got to make some big decisions coming up. Now you see two goals to nothing. Nine shots for Sporting Kansas City. Five shots on target. They only had one on target, but they did have two more tackles than us. They had nine tackles, and they had one that was offsides. We had two offsides and two corners there. But like I said, great job. They're pretty equally in uh, shots, uh, accuracy, and passing accuracy. But Sporting Kansas City did a great job of just doing a just attacking there on the on that uh, you know on that goalie. And just really making him work as uh, Sporting Kansas City just just really came out and said, "Hey, you know, we're taking this. This is not gonna be uh, this is not gonna be a nil nil game. We're gonna go out here. We're gonna score." And they score two there in this one. So nice job there. As they, you know, pretty much did everything they wanted. They got the supporters shield. They got the uh, U.S. Cup open, 
and of course now the biggest prize of them all the MLS Cup and we'll see if we could do the same thing coming up in season two now I will take a bit of a, a little bit of, hi of a hiatus uh, we'll have uh, the next actually next episode coming up after this will be the uh, our uh, kind of our front office series uh, the, the cauldron and uh, we'll have that we'll let you guys know, kind of wrap up the season there talking about what we've done so far there you see some news uh, article there about our win but most part uh, we're going to show you guys uh, we've got some re-signs we're going to make and of course show you guys some of the off-season stuff before we start the second season uh, and then of course then we will take a little bit of a hiatus from the series uh, kind of work on some other stuff and kind of get away from this one for right now because i do want to play a season two of the ml of this uh, mls series before we move on to the next one so there you see sporting kansas city your winners and they will move on now and take that trophy home. So if you guys enjoyed this series so, so far, I hope you have. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have been the ones that have been supporting here on the channel. Thank you guys so much. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this uh, episode and also the, also the series. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see for next season. Who should we bring in? Who should we go after uh, for our team and so we can be better? Or who should we start? Uh, for our team in the starting 11 next season let me know down below in the comment section plus don't forget to uh, if subscribe if you happen to be new follow us on Facebook Twitter and to score for latest news and events on what's going on here with this series and other series here on the channel and what's going on with the channel through social media our social media platforms there not to mention you guys can also support the channel if you want to be a part of this series or any other future series here on the channel be on patreon be a patreon member and be a part of the nation that way. There's uh, three different tiers you guys can join. Uh, you don't have to, but if you guys want to be help me out with the, um, you know, getting this series uh, or this uh, this series or any other series out on a consistent basis, that would really help me out very very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Sporting Kansas City with the Cauldron coming up here in about a day or two as we wrap up this season and get a preview of what's going to happen in season two that's it for me you guys as always keep yourself each other healthy and i will see you guys next time